Hi, I'm Will Greenwald, and you're watching Loot Drop on Geek.com, and it's time for another Indie Box unboxing. This month's Indie Box, Lovely Planet. And this game looks super Japanese, because the anime faces, and there's Japanese on the box. It's made by Quick Tequila Games, and it is a first-person shooter that's super colorful and cheery, and I haven't played it yet, but I did open the box, and I'm going to show you what's inside it. This is another pretty big box, kind of like Risk of Rain two months ago. Uh, but it's a nice looking box and another one that looks good on the shelf. First, the regular stuff you get with the indie box. Stickers. The game card, USB. Soundtrack. And instruction booklet. And it's just nice to find a source of instruction booklets these days because they're otherwise non existent outside of indie box. Quick Tequila gave IndieBox a challenge for the Lovely Planet IndieBox. The idea was to have every pack-in extra thing be somewhat useful. And they've kind of succeeded. Sort of. Lovely Planet Beach Ball! Which is useful in that it's a ball you can have fun with on the beach. Yeah. Or if you want to be that, you know, huge douchebag in any inappropriate concert that's like, hey, beach ball. It's gone now. Okay. Stress balls, well, stress cubes. A uh, blue goodie and a red baddie from the game. And chopsticks. Uh, these are plastic and they're based off of the tall red baddies. And they're actually kind of glaring at you. Grr, arg. Not a whole lot of stuff, but I mean, once again, it's like what, 20, 25 bucks? Box, soundtrack. USB thing, instruction manual, chopsticks, squishy blocks, and beach ball. It's over there, I'm not going to get up and get it. It's another cool, nice looking indie box that is going to look great back here with all the other ones. For more geek toys, collectibles, and things you can buy, keep watching Loot Drop on geek.com.